YouTube, YouTube, what's up, what's up? How you guys doing? Listen, I'm taking a ride today. I'm taking a ride today, and you're gonna take a ride with me. I got a long drive, so almost an hour and almost two hour drive. Hopefully don't run into any traffic. Hopefully don't run into any uh, accidents. So, what's the mission today? The mission today is I have um, two pieces of a puzzle that need to be put together, okay? And I'm gonna show you a, a quick glimpse of these pieces. Let's see if you can figure it out before we get there. So hang tight, check this out. Here are the pieces. To this puzzle. The two pieces to this puzzle and I know some of you already know what it is and of course by being on this channel it's modified because you're watching Choker TV modified so we are gonna basically reunite these pieces to the puzzle it's almost like two kids that are lost, and I'm taking these kids back to their mom, okay? So, enjoy the ride, let's go. As you can see, I am quite happy. We have arrived and we're gonna take the pieces of the puzzle and we're gonna put them to the puzzle. We're taking the kids back to his mom. Hang tight, here we go. All right, here we go. We're going in. So you can meet my guy, Kevin. Hello, Kevin. How are you? How are you doing? Good. I'm gonna give you a link to this thing. You'll see it's okay. much better, much better, much nice. better. So I brought these pieces, and you can tell me. <laughs> you can tell me what you think of my work here. Hold okay. on one second. How are you been doing? 
good. Oh, that's a good thing. That's always a good thing. So, I, mean, I worked on these things like, oh man, look at that. Night and day, night and day. Right? Night and day. Oh, nice. So now, this is what I did. I was at home, man, and you know, it's funny. So, sanded it down, uh -huh. and then I put like three coats of the, the it had like primer and paint of the I white. And then I did three coats of the uh, clear. Sure. But you know, it. I even sanded it down in between, but it's still, it's funny. It still gets these different, like, whatever. It's no big deal. It's just, I don't know. I got you. But it's cool though. Yeah. And then I made sure the inside, I kind of masked it so it wouldn't. Uh, Not build enough. Yes, 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 yes. All right. Uh, duck and goose season ends next week. Uh, this weekend is the last weekend for Illinois deer season for shotgun and muzzleloader. Okay. <laughs> so it'll start slowing down a little bit now. Making sure everything's all happy in there with everything. Yeah, that tea nut's not in the way of anything. That spring that I, I brought was that? Did mm -hmm. it make any difference or anything? You know the uh, the light or the uh, hammer spring? Uh, they're, they're supposed to make a, a pretty big difference in there. Okay. See it getting hung up on anything though. No. It's like every now and then there's a little hiccup in that. So it's just an adjustment? I think so. You see, I wasn't doing that before because I was sitting here dry cycling it. Actually, that T nut in there backed it off. Just too tight. tight. Yeah. See how snug we can. So I keep it in mind just in case. Yeah. You see there, it's a little snug there. Yeah. Something weird there. It's like it's just. Just making some minor adjustments. Make sure everything is functioning correctly. So we're not gonna show any kind of instructional or how to put anything or take anything apart because if I'm not mistaken, YouTube does not allow that. So I'm gonna show you after the fact how everything uh, turned out, which it turned out good. For sure. Hey, bro, we got Kevin. Kevin, Kevin is the going? master gunsmith, all right? He's the master gunsmith. <laughs> so we're not doing instructional yeah, stuff. Uh, hey, he does great work here. Yeah, uh, yeah. So um, he made an adjustment uh, before he gave it back to me, and uh, now it's working perfect. So yeah. um, here you go. So, yeah, the ALG triggers always need a little tweaking, tuning. Yeah. Definitely. But we're gonna do more review when we get back out in the car because we don't want to take up his time because he's a busy man. <laughs> so uh, once again, we appreciate you, oh, Kevin. Yeah. You're Thank very you. welcome. Thank no you. problem. Definitely. For me to drive all the way I drive to come here, let right. me tell you, it's a blessing. So yeah. hey, thank you, Kevin. Very cool. No problem. Thank you. All right. Look what we can. Let me tell you. This turned out standing outstanding the 
quality of work, outstanding. The finish, outstanding. Outstanding. I'm happy. Very happy. I think other people, when they see this, take it to the range, they're going to think it's outstanding too. Even if you're not an AK lover. Personally, I love AK-47s. Love them, love them, love them, love them. Better than the AR. And I know a lot of AR rifle lovers, AR pistol lovers, and I like them too. But to me, nothing is better than the AK. The way it's built, uh, the way it functions, the way things are just, I mean, even now, so many things you can put on them. So, hey, anyway, we're going to look at this gun. All right, it's time to uh, head back to Mikasa. But I just want to um, add a little footnote on here. I know uh, a lot of people have different opinions about weapons and that they're bad. And there's a lot of bad things going on in our world. A lot of bad things and a lot of bad people. But I truly, personally believe that guns are for good people. For good people to protect themselves and also have fun with go to the range and modify like what has been done on uh, choker TV modified you know and um, just um, it's like a hobby so um, once again um, and and I'm a person who has experienced tragedy where I've lost a friend to uh, gun violence a very good friend of mine um, and I'm still pro guns still but needless to say hey um let me know if you want to see more content with this and it doesn't even have to be with me there's more people i know that have a man vast collection vast collections i'm sure they wouldn't mind showing them and also um uh, see them shooting at a range so on that note we're out so be blessed and not stress so we're taking back up to my guy um wade north done right gunsmithing so we're gonna replace this stock trigger Let's see if i get this in focus the stock trigger with the alg trigger and we're also gonna get the receiver Oh, let me put this light in here. We're going to get the receiver Cerakoted. I'm not even going to tell you what, what the color. But as, if you can see, I'm having issues with the light, but you can see it's, uh, it's funky. It's really funky. The furniture, the grip, it's not going to stay the same either. Before, throw the bolt side. Before, Look at that. It's not the best. And you guys didn't think I wasn't gonna go over this in detail. I'll leave you hanging. No, no, no. Look at this. Kevin, you did an outstanding job, outstanding job. So you saw how it looked before. The receiver, trying, it's like they just took some paint. I don't know what they did, to be honest with you. Uh, but it was horrible. It was horrible. So, what was done? Let's get to the point. It was blasted and Cerakoted a satin, glossier black, as you can see. Look at that. Look at that. Charging handle, bolt. Before, it was black with the same kind of crappy paint from the factory. 
Um, it was crappy. So he blasted that and got it back down to the nickel. The trigger. ALG trigger. Very nice. Let me tell you something. The reset on the trigger is beautiful. It is beautiful. And if I didn't already mention it, the safety, much looser. Before it was, it's like you had to put 10 pounds of pressure just to uh, take the safety off. And then, of course, my work. The paint on the stock and the grip. And we got it with our clip. Well, I'm sorry, our magazine. So here you go. Like I said, done right gun repair. Let me tell you, um, I've been going to this to uh, see Kevin for a long time. At least I, I'm gonna say, well, I won't say a long time. At least two years. And um, man, I've seen a lot of his work, and not not just what, it's not just my stuff. It's other stuff I've seen him do. All right, everything is done on him. Front sight, everything, and internals too. Even a little depressor right here to uh, take off the cover. That was also done. You are the man. So, hey, that ends this. Um, I'll probably show some more videos of uh, me sh actually shooting it. Um, I think that would be kind of fun. Well, I don't think. I know it would be fun. I know, I know it will be fun. So once again, thank you for stopping by, viewing my videos. I really appreciate it. I would also appreciate if you guys would like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know if you want to see anything else. You guys be blessed. And as always, not stress. Later.